Yo, what's up? It's your boy Nitro High Fire here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to uh, check out this video. It caught my attention. It's called The New Way Beginners Are Getting Rich on Instagram. And uh, I was on Instagram for a while, as we all are. <laughs> and at, some, at one point I was using Instagram to do business with. I was using Instagram to kind of grow my following, to kind of get to different levels of influence to do different things um my primary channel at the time or page was nerd torch tv and i used that page to kind of get me to a point where um i was just posting i was it was a theme page i was posting anime comics and gaming and i kind of used that theme page to get me to do celebrity interviews with uh voice actors and actors who've worked on anime comics gaming you know those type of things and so for a while, though, I kind of fell off of it after I kind of got to a point where I can use it to do that. But um, I wanted to look back into... So, I, so I, I'm always looking at different ways to kind of to do that. I'm, I'm looking at different ways to hop back in the game and, uh, and see what's there out there to do. And so uh, that's why this video caught my attention. So let's take a look at it and see like, uh, what types of tips... Uh, my boy over here got his name is Drell Jones, and uh, let's see what's up. Oh, over the last seven years, I've been building Instagram theme pages, and I've made over a million dollars doing it. In this video, I'll be sharing a some million. tips on exactly how you can grow and monetize an Instagram theme page in 2024. Let's get it. Tip number one is consistent branding. It's extremely important to have consistent branding if you're trying to grow and make money on Instagram in 2024. And as you can see, I got an Instagram yeah, page put up called Hustlers in the Hood. They have 2.3 million followers, and they've just been going crazy over the last year. So I feel like this would be a great example to show you consistent branding. Because if we scroll down and take a look at their page, every single one of their reels is black and white. They got the black and white reel with the captions for the video, and then they have their logo on it, right? Same thing right here, black and white. Captions for the video, logo. Yeah. Same thing right here, black and white. Now it's it's pretty true. Um, that's something I have noticed from when I was doing um, Instagram. Like I said, I kept it consistent at anime, comics, gaming. It's the rule of three. Uh, usually, uh, the rules the rule of three is basically once you give people something to pay attention to or choose, um, they get overwhelmed when you start adding an additional option past three and so i kind of use the rule of three to kind of decide a lot of different things of what i'm doing um in business or branding or you know like a whole bunch of different <laughs> a whole bunch of different things the rule of three applies to so anime comments and gaming for what he's talking about here though is just having like a consistent feed of having like all the same stuff and the same style and so i think that is a a good i think that's a good tip as well but um i don't know if that's really accurate like 100 percent accurate because we're, we're getting to a point now where um people aren't really coming to the pages as much is what i'm noticing um people are um there's they're scrolling down uh or what they call it doom scrolling they're doom scrolling and they're seeing a bunch of content and um I don't see them actually going to the pages as much because they're copying that TikTok, the whole TikTok strategy. And um, the thing about TikTok is that they're feeding you content that they think you will like. But um, a lot of studies are starting to show that people who are watching the content are no longer engaging with the actual creators of the content. And so that's becoming a problem. So um, I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know if um, the actual theme of keeping all the content the same. I don't know if that's actually helpful. But you know, he made a million dollars, and I haven't made a million dollars, so I don't know. That's just my opinion. And white captions for the video logo. Same thing. Black and white captions for the video logo. And if we scroll down, as we scroll down some, we can see the whole feed is the same thing. And then for the reels, they also have a picture of the person that's in the reel as the cover for the reel. So it's the same thing throughout their whole entire page, right? So if you... All right, I'm going to go to... Let's see if I can pull up my Insta over here. No, it, hold up. It ain't going to show you. So I'm going to try to pull up my Insta real quick and see, like, what is it going to 
kind of show us in order to see what I've done. So I'm sitting at 6,000 followers right now. Uh, well, 6,778. My big, my big old head in the way. Boom. Okay. And so I've kind of shifted my focus from doing um, the content in the sense of uh, I shifted my focus from doing like uh, a lot of the same things in the content. But I've gotten to a point now where uh, I've been doing a lot of cosplayers. And so these are a bunch of cosplayers. Like, I'll actually go to events with my camera or my phone, and I'll post uh, the pictures of the cosplayers and stuff that are at the events. And then my new strategy is to actually uh, do collab posts. And so basically the picture is on my page as well as their page. And so it's kind of a theme, I guess, in a way, because they're all cosplayers. Like, so I guess that is kind of the theme of the page. And so it hasn't really diverted too much from cosplayers. But before that, it was like memes and stuff. And so, like, if I go even further down, I got to go way back for the memes and stuff. Because I, I started doing cosplay pictures for a minute. <laughs> and so, I don't know. It'd probably be too long of a ways to go back. There we go. So, yeah, yeah these are, this is what my page pretty much used to look like. It's just all memes. Uh, and and art work, you know, I call the I call that was sexy Saturdays right there. <laughs> so like I put like posts like itchy and stuff, and boom, you see we got like all types of different artwork and stuff for the page. So that was kind of my theme, I guess. But as you can see, things have transitioned. Uh, you know, straight into cosplayers now. So maybe there can be something. Maybe if I hop back in, I'll try something different, or maybe I can, I'll keep doing the cosplay thing. I don't really know. Um, I guess only time will tell, so we'll have to just see about that. But um, let's see what else our boy has to say about it. Let me find his page again. Uh, hold on. Ah, you go away. And then we'll go to... Boom. All right, we back at it. Let's go. Just scrolling through your feed and you come across a video like this, you gonna know that this is a hustlers in the hood video. That's the power of branding. And they do switch it up sometimes. Sometimes they switch it up and do a swipe post and they always do it like this where they have the text up front and then they have the video in color. Now see I did say this. Uh, I wanna I wanna stop and say this though. I said that I wasn't quite sure if um having a definitive theme is the best way to do things right now and then i went to my page and see technically i am i have a definitive theme <laughs> so that was completely unintentional but you know like i said in the in the terms of where things are going right now i think that's changing so they do add some color to it but it's for the swipe post every single one of their reels is in black and white and then if they do a swipe post they have it in color and you can see it's working for them. They got 2.3 million followers. They get good engagement on their posts and everything like that. So you want to be doing the same thing. I know in the beginning, it might be kind of hard. You might not really know what you want to post, what kind of brand you want to have, the color scheme you want to use. But over time, you want to figure that out. You want to see what's working on your page and double down on what's working. Come up with a consistent theme for your page, consistent branding. And it's just going to make your page stand out that much more. Tip number two is to leverage Instagram Reels. Reels get pushed out way more than regular posts. And even on the page that I just showed y'all, they're posting mainly Reels. They'll do a swipe post every here and there, but they post mainly Reels. That's why they was able to get 2.3 million followers in just a couple years. And You see, man, Reels is where it's at right now. Reels is going crazy. And so I can't even, there, there's no arguing with that. Um, so like, if I was to go back into doing it, then I would have to make reels. And I don't know if I want to do that. So it's one of those things that's kind of like you got to decide, like, as a creative, do you want to create what you want to create or do you want to play the game? And the game typically right now in today's world has to deal with the algorithm. And let me show you the top performing posts on my page as well. All right, so I'm on the Black Hustlers Club right now. This page has over 900,000 followers, and I got the top performing post pulled up for the last year. And as you can see, nine out of the top 10 posts are Instagram Reels. 
And the crazy thing about this is I post more threads than I do Instagram Reels. So that just shows you the power of Instagram Reels and how much they're getting pushed out to new people. And that's actually scroll down some more. You can see it out of like the top 20, about 15 of them are Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels is the way to grow in 2024. Like I even started a new page, right? Me and my team started a new page. He ain't wrong there. Like, Instagram Reels are our way to go because Instagram, Instagram is trying to, no pay, promos, no none they like trying that. to compete with TikTok. 50,000 followers in just like two months. No paid promos, all organic, just from Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels is how you're going to grow in 2024. You want to be posting them at least once or twice a day. Because I tell you how to post like three to five times a day, right? And every single post doesn't have to be an Instagram Reel, but at least make one or two of them a Reel, you feel me? Step number three is to post quality content. Now, going back to what I just said about posting three to five times a day, yeah, you want to be doing that, especially in the beginning to get your page out there because nobody knows who you are yet, but... You want to make sure that it's quality content that you're giving game in your posts as well because you're trying to make money with Instagram. You're not just trying to post five times a day but never make any money. So you want to make sure that your posts are actually adding value into people's lives and not just entertainment. You adding value is like a hard place to be. Like uh, depending on depending on niche that you're gonna be in. Like um, if you're in photography cinematography like um cosplay and those types of things like it seems like the only way to actually add value is to teach and teaching is not a thing it's not a skill for everybody and uh teaching is uh, is definitely a skill it's not a skill for everybody and so it really depends on what your niche is and how you provide value and i would say that that's definitely something that is varying person to person but um if you guys pro know ways to provide value you know y'all could put some ideas in the comment section below i'm thinking i might start a photography cinematography thing or page or some sort but like i don't know how much content like i'm able to produce when it comes to that, because that, bro, like, <laughs> posting reels is hard. Like, I'm telling you. You want to get some free game in your post as well, whether it's in the caption or in the post itself or in your stories. Because people are going to follow you and start to realize, like, yo, I'm getting so much free game from this page. And by the time you actually sell something on your page, they're going to hop on it because they got so much free value from you. They're going to be like, Man, I can only imagine what his page stuff is like. The next tip I have is to add some personality. I will say this, that theme pages usually are repost pages. So one of the big Instagram strategies for growth is to find content that's already viral and just repost it. Repost, 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 repost to get the page itself bigger and so that you can monetize it by selling ads and things like that. So... Me personally, that's not really my thing that I kind of wanted to do. I did do that for the Nerd Torch TV page when I first started. And not to say that I won't do it again when I fire things back up. Well, actually, no, I won't do it again because Reels is where it's at right now. And if I did that again, I was posting pictures and memes and stuff. And, and that's not conducive to where the, the algorithm's going right now. So I don't know. I'll have to figure out what my strategy would be if I was to start back up again. I know for a fact that if I when I do start back up posting, I will be posting more cosplay event content and stuff like that. So I know that I'm gonna be doing that. But I don't know like uh if I'll be posting memes and things again like that. Now since you're doing an Instagram theme page it's gonna be faceless. Nobody's gonna know who you are, which is cool. You wanna stay low key. But you can still add some personality in your posts. And what this is going to do is build a lot more trust with your audience. And a great example of this is a page called Hoodville. So as you can see, he has 8.7 million followers. And nobody knows who this page is ran by. But everybody fucks with it because of the personality behind it. So as you can see, like in his captions, he's always saying something funny. Or he's doing a story time. So you want to add some personality. This is how you really going to build an audience, man. Add some personality, especially since you're doing a theme page. Nobody knows who's running the page. So 
The only advantage you really gonna have is adding some personality to your post. And this doesn't just apply to a main page. You could be funny on a business page or you could tell a story time. Like whatever you're posting, you can add a story time to it relating to a situation that happened in your life or a way that people can get value from the post. Just adding some personality goes a long way. Tip number five is to engage with your community. Now, this is extremely important if you're trying to grow and make money on Instagram because people got no like and trust your page for them to buy from you, right? Now, this could be replying to comments, liking comments, pinning comments, doing stories, or it could be asking questions in your post as well. So as you I want to start right here and say one idea I had was I want to create, I either thought about doing it on my page or my personal page on Instagram, my Nitro Hot Fire page. Go follow me if you haven't. <laughs> but, uh, or I should do um, a brand new page where the goal is to take the most selfies with random people ever <laughs> so it was it'll be completely a page where i go around talking to people and ask them to take a selfie with me and it'll be completely random people i don't know them or i maybe even some people i do know and just fill up a page with just me taking selfies with people I think that would be kind of cool just as like an experiment to see kind of how far I can go and how many people I can get on the page. And it'd be really cool to tag them in the pictures as collaborators. And so like, bro, like <laughs> my pictures will be everywhere. <laughs> as you can see, I got a post pulled up from the page that I run myself called the Black Hustlers Club. And they got almost 6,000 comments. 6,000 comments. It just says, men who are over 30, give one piece of advice to men who are in their 20s. It could be about anything. Now, this post did crazy numbers with the amount of engagement it got. Now, you could do this, or you could do, like, stories where you're asking them um, just simple questions. Like, this could have been a story right here. 200K in cash right now, or flip a coin for 40 million. That could have been a story, but I just threw it up on my feed. And they got 2,000 comments. I did another one as well. Let's see if I can find one more for y'all where I'm just asking a question, just getting them to engage. And this one just says, if you had the ability to send one message to everyone on earth, what would you say? And this one did over 1,000 comments as well. So you just want to be doing this all the time, just engaging with your community. Like I said, it doesn't just have to be a post where you're asking a question. This could be replying to comments liking comments, pinning comments, doing stories, just engaging with your audience to build a stronger community. And real quick, for those that don't know, I'm doing a giveaway next month on an Instagram theme page that has 80,000 followers in the business niche. All you got to do to enter the giveaway is to drop a like on this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram. And one more thing, I've been getting hundreds of DMs and emails of people telling me to bring back my Instagram course. It's been closed for over a year. And I finally did for a limited time. But instead of charging hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, like most people do, yeah, it'll it's be only charged. $27. I'm basically giving it away for free. And I didn't hold anything back in that course. It has hours worth of content teaching you A to Z on how to build an Instagram theme page from scratch to monetizing it. And this is coming from someone that's actively still in the game, still growing pages, still making money with Instagram. So you're learning from someone that's actually doing what they teach. And I have a huge update for it coming soon. So if you get in right now for only $27, you get the full course and all the updates that come with it. So if you're interested, click the link in the description below. I had to look out for y'all. I ain't try to tax y'all or anything like that. I don't like know that. if I'm going to get the course or not, man. Hard. And I know a lot of people just want to get started. And the best thing about Instagram is that it's free. Like you don't need any money to start a theme page and you don't have to show your face. But the next tip I have. I mean, the reason why I say I probably wouldn't get the course this time is because I kind of been there, done that type deal. Like I've been in the game doing it and I kind of got the results that I wanted to get out of it. Like those results weren't strictly financial. They were based on uh, getting recognition. So like I, I grew the page so I can get to the celebrities and so like i grew the page i did the thing it was big enough where it was it was big enough where it was solid enough where i could be like okay 
this is solid enough where I can, you know, use it to be like, hey, let me interview celebrities at events and stuff. And then they worked out. So let's see what's up. It's the study the greats. So for this, I got another Instagram page pulled up called Alpha Motivation Zero. And they have 3.6 million followers, so they got to be doing something right. Now, no matter what niche you're in, you want to look at the top pages and just study what works for them. And there's a couple questions that I would ask myself, like, what are their best performing posts? How often are they posting? What makes them different? And how are they growing? Those are just a couple questions that I would ask myself. But let's go through this page and look at them, right? So this one did 2,600. So first, we're going to look at what are their top performing posts? That's just... Go through and see. So this one did 20K, 11K, 1,000, 27. So that one, pretty good right there. 11,000, 5,000, 7,000. Let's scroll down some more. It's 9,000 right there. 6,000, 8,000, 26,000. So it's looking like anything over like 20,000. That's a post you want to keep an eye out for. Now, if you see a post that does extremely well on somebody else's page and you're in the same niche, what you could do is just put your own twist on it. You feel me? So you could take this That's post true. right there, put your own twist on it, put your own branding on it and throw it up on your page. Or you can do a repost and just give them credit. But I would just say put your own branding on it and throw it up on your page. So this one did 22K, 12K right there, 13K. So you get the point, right? So like I said, man, it's all about reposting, man. Going out, finding content, and sticking it out there and putting it on a page that that's basically going to work the algorithm to bring people to the page because it, pretty much every post that's being posted to it is a viral one. And, but like if you're creating content from scratch, that's hard. Like I remember Gary Vee said, um, if you can't create, distribute. And that's essentially what's happening right now is distributing. So, yeah. You just want to go through this one did 39k so that's another one that you could put your own twist on and throw up on your page because if it works for them and you're in the same niche it could work for you as well so that's one thing that you want to look out for is what are their best performing posts another thing you want to check for is how often are they posting but let's take a look right so this one was april 4th april 4th so that's two three four right there so that was four for april 4th so let's do this one. One, two, three. It's all about volume, man. So that was three. So let's do April 2nd. One, two. I don't know why he just won't scroll down. That was twice that right. day. He April has 1st. the option one, to scroll down. <laughs> He's just clicking So that was off twice that day. And, not, one, and just two, not doing that. One, two. So it's looking like they posting a couple times a day. I recommend posting three to five times a day. Next. What makes them different and how are they growing? So you can see they have consistent branding. Going back yeah. to one of the first consistent branding, in this color, video, everything. Consistent man. branding. Every single one of their posts has their logo on it and their reels have a similar feel every single time. You want to have consistent branding. That's what makes them stand out. That's another reason why they're growing and also posting a lot of Instagram reels. Another point I told y'all, as you can see, if you scroll through their feed, it's majority Instagram reels majority right they just started doing the single post but before then pretty much all instagram reels, reels, if reels. You scroll through pretty much all reels so that's how they was able to get 3.6 million followers just posting instagram reels with their branding on it the next tip i have is the niche down now this is going to make you so that's what i said too the rule of three I had anime, comics, gaming. The best part about it is that the rule of three made it so that all the videos or pictures and stuff. Like, if you're into anime, comics, or gaming, you're probably uh, going to like at least two out of the three, if not all of those. So if you like anime, you probably like comics. If you like comics, you probably like gaming. If you like anime and comics, you probably like gaming. If you like gaming, you probably like anime. It's this whole, like cycle that happens and so that's where my niche was too so much more money especially in the beginning you want to focus on a specific problem in the industry that you could solve now let's say you're trying to get into the health and fitness niche right and you know with health and fitness there's so many different areas 
that you could try to solve. Like you got people trying to lose weight. You got people trying to gain weight. You got people looking for workout plans. You got people looking for meal plans. There's so many different areas. But let's say you focus on skinny dudes trying to bulk up and you create a meal plan for them. And your whole page is centered around that specific thing. Bulking. That's going to make you stand out from all the other health and fitness pages that's focusing on everything for everyone. And they're not solving a specific problem for someone. Now, of course, over time, you can expand and start adding different things. But in the beginning, you want to focus on one problem for one customer that you can solve. The next tip I have is to collab with other pages in your niche. So this is a new feature that Instagram rolled out not too long ago. I do like the collab and feature. Man. I got a collab that I did with Successco. So as you can see, they got 1.8 million followers. And this one did 62,000 likes. Now, this is a win-win situation because I get seen by their audience and they get seen by my audience. So we both are growing. And we did a couple as well. So let me go to this one. This one did almost 47,000 likes. And as you can see in the caption, it just says, follow Black Hustlers Club time success go so we're both gaining followers from this post and the way you set this up is you just want to go to similar pages in your niche with around the same amount of following or engagement as you and just dm them and ask would they like to collab if they say yes y'all gonna find a post that y'all think would hit on both of y'all pages they throw it up they invite you or you throw it up and invite them and then that's pretty much it it's a win-win situation y'all both are growing the next tip I have is the that's true, man. So like when I say that I'm thinking about doing the uh, the idea with the selfies, for example, and taking selfies with people, and you know, I just had the idea to kind of do the selfies at like a it's kind of like do the selfie thing and invite people for as a collaborator, and so that the videos or well the selfies actually will live on both pages and so that's kind of where i was thinking about doing to create an irresistible offer you got to understand exactly what your customers are looking for this is going to require you to do some deep market research to really understand their pain points and desires your offer should feel like it's made just for them to meet a specific need or a particular problem that they face. Adding on to that, you want to create a sense of urgency. Things like this will only be available for a limited time. This offer ends soon. While supplies last. Like all of these things that you see every day when you go into the mall, the store, or your emails, you want to be doing the same thing, creating a sense of urgency. Leveraging social proof like case studies, testimonials, reviews, all of that creates more trust and credibility as well. And bonuses, guarantees, make it exclusive. All of these are things that will help you create an irresistible offer. Your offer should be so good that people feel dumb saying no to it. If you combine all of the tips I gave you in this video, you'll be well on your way of building a profitable Instagram theme page business. I hope you got value right. out of this video. So, yeah, he's pretty much right, man. All this st it's, it's pretty much all the same stuff that, that I've already been through, I've, I've already learned, I've already kind of been around for you know <laughs> and it's the same thing where i've been trying like i said that i've been doing with uh my nerd torch tv page um i don't I, I don't know how i would exactly make it or do the same thing with my personal page if it's even possible or this only strats for theme pages i mean who knows uh but i am gonna try to hop back into the game so I'm going to leave my Instagram in the comment section below and maybe y'all follow me. So I'm out. Peace.